welcome to another guide video and today I will be replacing the gear gator or cover for my uh, gear shifter. So in this video I'll be talking through the process of uh, removing and then looking to replace it. So what I'm going to do is I've got some fresh leather that I will be uh, replacing the existing material with. I'll be taking apart the existing uh, cover so that I can create a template. Also, on the gear gator, the plastic shroud that clips into the waterfall dash is broken. So what I will do then, I will create a 3D CAD file and I will look to replace that with a new part. This part will be available for purchase for anyone that has a broken part and it's quite a common thing to be damaged. So come along and enjoy the um, experience with me. So here we have the um, gear gator cover and as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit broken. So it's slightly cracked around these parts, which is not ideal. So what I want to do is I want to replace this whole material and then uh, dye the leather to match the seats and central gear knob. So with this gear knob, it's not attached like your standard OEM gear knob. So I need to remove this and then look to remove the leather cover. Due to this being an aftermarket gear knob, the XC60 gig gear knob, it doesn't properly fit on. So what I had to do when I attached it, I just had to use some zip ties to get it attached properly to the stem of the shaft. But that won't apply for your standard uh, gear knob. So what we'll do is we'll move into the garage, look to remove this, remove the plastic shroud, and then look to separate the material to create a template for the new fabric. So we're now in the garage and uh, at my little workstation and here we have the actual uh, gear shift. What I'll do now is I'll just remove this from the actual gear knob itself. So here we just have the standard XC 60 gear knob. It's quite nice. I've just done it all two-toned to match the seats itself, but now time to turn this into the red. So as we can see on the we've got a crack here, which is not ideal. So what I'm gonna do is I will remove this apart, take this apart, and then I'll look to replace this uh, completely. So and this part, as it's quite easy to break, should be well, I'll make it available for people if they want it. So we'll just simply remove the leather. So here we are. Here's the plastic piece that is broken. Um, quite simple, so shouldn't be too hard to try and replicate in the uh, CAD software, but we'll definitely give it a go. So with this all a single piece, what I want to try and do is uh, separate in this into a single sheet so I can transfer this onto new fabric, ready to create the new shroud. So what I'll do now is I go along all this stitching and uh, cut it apart. So here we have the finished article. Try and flatten it well. As you can see, it's quite a simple design. So what I'll need to do now is uh, replicate this onto the new material, which I have just here. 
So we've got some black leather here. It's uh, fake leather, not real leather. So any vegans will be happy. Here we have the fresh piece of material. Nice bit of black leather along with the template. What I need to do now is create a template or outline out of the old one, ready to make the new one. So let's get on with it. So this can now go in the bin for now, so don't really need it. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, cut this out. So here we have the um, finished gator. So from the previous version, we know that we need to. What I'll do is now I'll pair this up together and um, make sure that both edges are exactly the same because, as you can see, they are slightly different. And that's just down to my um, template. So here we have the cut uh, fabric. Now for the fun part of actually dyeing the fabric the right colour. Fabric dyeing, all we need is one small pot, the actual fabric dye itself. So for my car, I'm using actually Dakota Brown BMW and just a sponge to apply it and a heat gun. So we'll crack on and uh, start the dyeing process. With such a small bit of fabric, we don't need that much. And I'm running out of this this uh, colour, so got to use it sparingly. So here we have the material. So just gently dab the brush. So we've got a nice layer and then begin to just apply the color directly to the material. It will take three to four layers of material of dye just to get it that color that we want. Don't worry, if you get it on your hands, it's not, it doesn't stain. What you want to do is try and keep the strokes in the same direction. As you can see, it's a very quick process to actually colour it. With the help of a heat gun, can dry the layers.
So just with that quick dry, it is now actually dry to touch. So what we'll do is we'll then now add the next layer of colour. So as you can see right now, the colour is coming out quite nicely. Just uh, one or two more colours, layers, and then she'll be all done. So with three layers, we've completely transformed the colour of this leather. I'm going to just do one more layer just to finish off. So, as you can see, in literally seven minutes, I have created a brand new colour for this leather. And if we compare that to the gear shifter itself, practically the same colour. Well, it should be the same colour, but the same colour done. But yeah. So, what we'll now do is we'll sew up the edges, ready for it to go back in. Life just that little bit easier. What I will do is I will use the pins again to line up the edges ready for sewing.
I'm not a seamstress, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So here we have the uh, stitched edge, it's not perfect but it will do for this application like I said before, I'm not a seamstress so uh, it will do for now, that's about, oh, right, so just remove the pins and then we'll invert it to see how it looks. Yeah. Here we have the finished article. The edges held up nicely, which is nice. Got a few hole marks from the pins, but it's not a problem as you won't see it. So now it's a case of uh, producing the plastic part that's broken on um, on the CAD software and getting it all made up. After some uh, deliberation of looking at the design of this, I thought it might be better to try and uh, plastic weld the two parts back together. Um, just with a simple uh, soldering iron, I'll try and melt the plastic back together. We'll see how it goes. If not, then I will try and reproduce it. I did try Gorilla Glue, but it's just taking about two ages. So let's see how melting it together works. So as you can see, the um, the edges slightly melted together. So what I'll do is I'll try and do the rest to get it a bit more stronger. So with that done, it is put back together and uh, quite strong. So what I now need to do is attach the leather piece back onto this. So with this now uh, heated back together, I added some extra material in just to try and bulk up the uh, thing. But yeah, it seems quite strong. So what I'll now do is just try and attach this to the frame with some uh, Spray adhesive. So what I'll do is spray all around the corner, let it set for a bit and then try and attach it.
the leather back on the shroud. It's time to now put the gear st stick on. Because this is aftermarket, it will be slightly different to how most other people will put them on, but I'll take you through the process of how I'm going to do it for this one anyway. the finished article it's a time to install it back in the car we're back in the car now it's time to reinstall the gator and gear knob so obviously mine's slightly different to everyone else but uh, for me it's just a case of sliding the shaft back on the So, and then clipping my cover back in. So that extra bit of leather around the lips allowed that to be a tighter fit on the actual thing. So yeah, all done and dusted. Looking. Fabulous.